Hey team, welcome back to the PM Garage. Thanks for clicking, thanks for stopping by, I really appreciate it. I'm here in the PM Garage inside my boat and uh, I'm getting the boat ready because in my area of Ontario, the walleye opening season is this weekend. So I hope to get the boat out and do a little bit of fishing, but first, I thought I'd take a break from rigging the boat and that I would show you guys what uh, all the menus are on the Vessel View mobile app on your phone. Maybe help you make a little bit informed decision if you wanna buy a Mercury Vessel View mobile or not, at least you get to see all the menus and all the different features that it has. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to power the engine. Um, just one click, I'm not actually gonna turn it on because I'm not actually in the water. Um, but I need to have power to the engine so the module will connect to the phone. So give me a second and then I will get you guys on the phone. Okay. Let's, uh, let's share a screen. Okay. Let's open the VessaView mobile app. So as soon as you open up the mobile app, you have the option to log in or sign up to, I guess, some internet-based connection that will keep track of all your things. I'm gonna skip that for now because I don't feel like logging in or signing up. All my information remains on my phone. Gives it a little bit of time. Takes a little time to connect. All right, well, you can see things will come up, pop up with warnings. It says my engine's due for maintenance. I'll click on that first. Oh yeah, okay, here's the maintenance log. Here are the things that needs to be done. I am, all the hours are shown on how many hours I have left on each thing. So I think we are good. So I'm gonna hit back. So this is the main page that you log into. The first thing you see when you log into the mobile vessel view. Um, it's pretty standard, it gives you your RPMs of your engine how much fuel the engine thinks you have left and what your, I'm Canadian, kilometers per hour are when you're driving. So we're sitting still in my garage, so we're not gonna be going anywhere, so those will all be zero. But what we'll do is I'll show you first the main menu up here in the top left corner. It gives you some menu items for the Mercury Vessel View Mobile, starting with faults. You can observe and block faults, so if you have a fault on your engine, it'll come up here. Block faults, I think, are faults that are created in your engine, but your Mercury Vessel View is either not on or you've ignored the fault, something like uh, a feature that's not actually logged on to your Mercury Vessel View or not available with your engine. Next is your maintenance, which we already just seen as I opened it. Standard maintenance due in 92 hours. Okay, got a lot. This brings us right to the maintenance uh, section. Shows you how many hours you have left for each thing. Um, you can Check out your history by clicking history. I've got some history. Oh, I did oil and gear case set last year. And uh, that's when I winterized it. You can see it was last October. You can log specific maintenance, check items. So oh. you can log maintenance. Um, if you check mark certain things and you hit the log maintenance button, it'll log those as being maintained and reset your counter. I'm going to do nothing because I don't want to log anything right now. Go back to the main menu. It'll show you some performance stuff. Uh, it's got whole shot, which has a funny <laughs> little menu that shows when you're ready to go, you're doing your zero to 20 whole shot, you hit ready. Gives a little countdown and then it will actually record what your whole shot is and whenever you're done out of the water, you hit stop and you can record it again if you want. Um, fun little feature, I guess, if that, you're into that stuff. Uh, it's also got leaderboard, so if you actually sign into the internet with a Mercury Vessel View account, you can go ahead and see who's in the leaderboard for both categories of zero, zero to 20, zero to 30. And you go back to the menu It'll show you a chart. I got no performance data right now. Uh, that's because I haven't logged any performance data. Shows you kilometers per hour, liter per hundred kilometers. I uh, haven't done any of that right now, but that's available to you. If you go back to the main menu, you can check out, oops, sorry. If you go back to your main menu, accounts and privacy, it's just the account you logged into, help and feedback takes the internet about is just about the app as you don't normally find and we've also got settings you can choose your language your sounds are on or off speed 
if you are Canadian, kilometers per hour, uh, your volume units in liters or gallons, fuel economy, you have all these other options. I am a Canadian, so a liter per 100 kilometers is how we go. You can auto backup and sync. You can automatically connect to the app when you start uh, the app. Sorry, automatically connect to the Mercury Vestibule at app startup and factory reset. Okay, come back to the main page. We'll go to the top right. It just shows you, uh, connects to the boats that you have available to your Mercury Vessel View mobile. Uh, I only own one boat, so if you're rich enough to have more than one, then this is where you'd add all your boats. <laughs> back to the main menu. We're on the little gear case, or sorry, the little uh, speedometer dial on the bottom left. That's the main page here that you see. I can click into the RPM section and it will give me more data engine available. You can read through this. These are different things that I've selected under engine to see different parameters that my engine's putting out to the Mercury Vessel view. You can customize these screens as well as you'd like to see. You can see I've created one called me. I've created one called test. Uh, if you go to the top right corner and click add, you can see that there's a list of things here that you can choose. You can change the name of, sorry, you can change the name of what you want as your quick menu. Um, go back, sorry, there you go, test two. Now it's got all the information. You can make it as simple as you want. You just want to know what your current speed is. I think you need a minimum of four. Maybe, let's check. No, nope. yeah, you can have just one. So you can customize them whatever you want. Um, if there's multiple people using your boat, you can each have a profile, whatever you like the most. We're gonna back out of here. Uh, I don't believe, uh, yeah, we do have some fuel information here. Um, fuel used, total fuel, you can set, set the fuel tank to full if you'd like. I have a 50 liter capacity. Uh, you can add fuel, so how much fuel you pump at the gas pump, you add it here, it'll add to your total and hopefully keep a running total of what your remaining mileage is, or I don't know what you want to call it, hours on the water is, based on that. Shows you the distance to empty, time to empty, they're both estimates. I guess it depends on your weather conditions and all those other things. Uh, we can just show speed, speed speedometer, Peak speed, average speed, I got nothing going on right now. You can add a moment. It'll take a little snapshot for you and store it to your Mer Mercury Vessel View. And you can share it on the internet if you really want to share it with everybody. Uh, you can reset to zero. Go back again. Okay, the next feature on Mercury Vessel View is the map feature. So on the map, you can add an anchor point to wherever you are. You can go to a boat dock and you can add a fuel dock so you can find some fueling. Uh, you can add a fish spot, you can add places to eat on the river, and uh, you can find places to drink on the river. Uh, there you go. Pretty simple stuff. It's pretty handy, I guess, if you don't have your GPS with you. Most phones do. And that's about it for map. You've also got calendar, so you can load more results for calendar. You can have a look at it. You can track. Uh, what's this? Winterize the boat at Plumber's Marine. Yeah, I got that done. You can add calendar events, or sorry, you can sort by history type. Pictures, fish that you've caught. I have none of this in here. Hazards that were logged. Maintenance that was done. I've only got some stuff in here. Special points of interest, etc., etc. You can add an event. You can add a photo. So take your photo tag your GPS coordinates, describe your moment, and you can share online or you can save. You can add a fish caught, so it gives you the coordinates where the fish are, how big the fish is, you know, you can use it to describe your fish, you can share it on the internet if you want. You can add a point of interest, uh, I don't know, that say you found a certain boat dock that you really like, you can write dock whatever, you can share it online or you can save it, you can take a photo of it. And you can add, last is not, but not least, is you can add a hazard that you found in the water. Um, describe the hazard. You can share it with other people on Vessel View Mobile. Uh, and you can save it to your phone. Okay. 
Uh, last but not least is checklist. So pre-departure checklist tells you everything you want to see or check before you leave the shore. You have an equipment checklist. Don't forget your ice, your cool, your towels. You just check them off as you need. It shows you the date. It'll log it for you. Uh, winterizing checklist. Things you need to do to winterize your boat. Same thing. You just check them off and then add them. Clear all. Uh, and aquatic invasive species, uh, that's just if you're jumping from lake to lake, just want to make sure you have a record of things that you've done to make sure that your boat is clean and ready for a new water body so you don't spread any aquatic invasive species. Anyway, back to the main menu, that's, uh, that's about it. There's not a lot more to talk about. Uh, there's some good features, it connects really well. And uh, if you want to exit the app, exit out there you go so vessel view mobile connects really well um definitely worth it i thought it was worth it i have an older boat so i didn't have a really high tech gauge cluster this has really helped my uh my information keeping and my hours tracking on my engine hope you like what you saw please consider subscribing hitting the bell doing all that stuff making comments help out the channel i really appreciate it i will see you guys soon No power, unless the battery's dead. Mm, maybe. Nope, no power. No power, no more power. Oh dear. Oh. Glassy.